Hi there and welcome back to EU4 and Cora Konyundu. And everything is looking green because it's our stuff. And it is looking light green because we will take that peace deal. We will not take more from them. Instead, take some uh, <laughs> some gold because otherwise we'll have a, f a coalition forming against us, which we really don't want to. And uh, why are we making the peace at the moment? Because of ah, the Nogai reinforcements coming in. And uh, that would be a little bit too much to fight. Also, we don't want to be totally depleted after the war. That The situation is a little bit too dangerous for that. So let's go for our Kurakoyunlu conquest of Miyane. And... Uh, that's all we can get. Vassal. Mm. We could get new vessels too. Would that be something? No. We want them to see the provinces. So let's send the demand and take what we can and then do what we can to come out of this a glorious victory the Kuroko Yunlu conquest of Miyane attacker casualties slightly less than defender casualties and uh, what's that oh yeah all right We had no ships lost, only uh, ships of the desert, camels. Ajam accepted our generous peace offer. They will cede Hamadan, Kermanshe, Sanjan, Kwaswin, Miyane, and Sol Tanye to, to us, and 98 ducats. It will result in some inflation. It will cost us 66... Uh, 66 diplomacy and we have a lot of aggressive expansion right now we'll gain power projection and a jump is reduced to um not much anymore there and we have now ardalan in our midst which somehow hates us because of the aggressive expansion but uh, that's not something to worry about to weigh other options now and we need some calls and we need everything we can do here what should we do first probably bring down the war exhaustion yeah it will cost 75 uh, it will though save us a lot of admin points but we now oh, i think we don't need admin points at the moment that much or do we we might need them we might need them for stability we could also boost stability and then we wouldn't be able to call anymore no we will need to reduce the war exhaustion even if it's a little bit of a waste and now we have corruption And the corruption is growing. We need to root it out. There we go. Wow, that's going, going to be very costly. Now... Um, we should start coring. Hamadan. 18 months, 16 months... Um, yeah, we probably need to call everything. Let's have a look, though. I think we have gained a lot of Shiites now. Yeah, one province here is Sunni. The others are Shiite. So uh, we have gained really a little bit of religious unity. 
So that's that's a great thing to have. Also gained fortresses. And the first thing we'll do at the moment now is oh, handle even more of these zealots. Some harsh treatment. And we need to mothball all forts. Otherwise we're going broke in a very short time. Same goes for the army maintenance. We need to reduce it a little bit. And then we need to start coring. There we, uh, there we core. Could move to Tabriz right now. How much supply do we have there? 15. Mm. 9, 5, 14 we have here. And these guys... Can we go next to that? Yeah, why not? Let's try that. We have, another f we have the free advisor slot here. We don't need them. And we cannot afford. So we have what we wanted. We might get a little bit more trade, actually, from this. And we have finished the mission. Save the Azerbaijani people in Mina, Mirne. Efficient integration. Very nice. And we have lost the Kazu's belly against the Jam, of course. And we can look for more. And we should have some tribal allegiance here. Only 13, though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Changes by minus one every year. Ooh, huh. Training horsemanship. Now, we would need more, probably, battles then. What missions can we go for? Manpower reserves need to recover. I mean, our ruler is a bold fighter and sinner, but he has a lot of ability and he would see this as a good mission, a good uh, quest to go for, because they really need to recover. Protect our brethren in Savar. It's maybe too early for that. He just had a war against the Jam. Religious brethren in Savar are being cruelly persecuted. Yeah, and... Also ignoring the Imams a bit. Then remove his and Kaifa from the map. That is currently done by the Mamluks. So that's probably not ideal. Let's see, do we have progress concerning the Persian nation? Yes. We have gained Hamadan, which we now uh, call. And was win two not yet Yazd not yet Quam uh, not Amol not Shiraz and not Isfahan but it might be good and possible to form the Persian nation in time made progress towards that we'll we'll take that farms lie deserted all the young men have been pressed into our armies slacken off recruitment and let the country grow we need a recovering economy we need some peace we have deserved some peace i mean 
come on, look at that. We have grown mightily. And the Mamluks, what are they doing? They have a war against Dulkadir and he's in Kaifa. Okay, that is a war to just... To just win. Maybe these states can help us. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, last time we had that treasury. But that is over, unfortunately. We could repay one loan. Mm -hmm. Probably not that good to repay the loan already. How's the corruption going? We have some corruption, I think. Or do we? No. Okay, we can get this down then. Oh, uh, we want to get it to zero, right? So we keep our zero corruption. All right, then this is needed, it seems. Well, yeah. Ford maintenance is high. We really don't know how to continue with this, but um, we could increase our stability again a bit, even though we could not. Hmm. Armenian separatists would be 8k. We could take them on. Where are they? 10. Four, zero. Supply limit 14. We'll move over. <sighs> what? The Mamluks are building a spy network. Yeah, um, who is surprised? Who is surprised? I'm not. Not at all. Now, is it better than 9.5? Not really. The Armenian separatists accept demands. Armenia will become a free nation. No, please not. Please don't. Ah, the, the Timurids have cancelled the right of access. That was okay. They've also made peace with Ajam. They haven't won much, though. Did they take Ard Khan? No, I think they just made peace. Maybe they did take something of... No, I think, I think they got something on the coast. Uh, trade protection, Kazus Belly, we have lost. Not bad, not bad. And now, yeah, the advisor's maintenance is terrible. I mean, we have a favorite of the queen, all right, but our sultan is no fool. And in that situation, we might just have to fire them. Even the favorite to the queen. It's just too many expenses and we need to have some money in the bank in case another war breaks out. So uh, we'll fire them. If we have someone reducing our unrest, that would be that would be definitely good. But we don't have anyone there. We just cannot afford this. We we have to act like this. I 
and still we're not in the plus. This is the big problem of this country. Hmm, though we could repay one loan. Yeah. One loan, yeah. Should be okay for now. Once the missionary is uh, finished, we'll have a better time. And of course, once our cores are there, how is that progress going? It is coming to pass. We're getting there. Hamadan, Kirman Shah, Mianne, Kwaswin, Sultanier, Sanjan. And they are, oh, they have freed Khorasan, I think. And Khorasan has just attacked the Timurids. They're in a war against Afghanistan. Khorasan, Hormuz, Transoxiana, and Sistan. They're getting invited again. Ooh. Mamluks are influencing nation on Akkoyunlu. And Akkoyunlu has insulted us. Which is pretty terrible. They're in good shape. They're in an alliance with the Ottomans. We won't do anything there. Uh, they have insulted us. Well... As I said, we won't do anything there. Maybe we should send uh, our diplomat out. And probably we should... May... We should probably go and... Maybe claim something on Ak. Or we could improve our relations with Bitlis maybe again. Uh, we are at Bitlis, and we are improving the relations. All oh, right, maybe Ardabil could be could be good, or Sherwin. Yeah, we need to we need to go to Ardabil. Maybe they are a lot less happy with us. We'll improve the relations here for now and see what we can do in the future. We have so many separatists, it's crazy. What's going to happen with Hazan Ali? Hazan Ali? What do you think? What do you become when you have two administration, one diplomacy and zero military? I don't know. But we have times of need. The dynasty of our noble sultan, Karakoyunlu, is certainly a powerful one. Through Jahar Shah, they rule our nation and will do so for many years to come. However, even the great are sometimes in need of help. Thankfully, the Koyunlu family has tied strong bonds to other great powers, such as the Savavid house led by no other than Jafar, Sheikh of Ardabil. Oh my god, Ardabil! <laughs> that one's Prince Minor. One province minor. His gracious wife, Sultanim, is a daughter of our own royal house and an invaluable contact. Perhaps we shall ask her if she can influence her husband to lend us a hand. Oh, yeah, we should try this. We would love to have money at the moment. Uh, yeah, our coffers are getting worryingly light. We really need money. Because of that, we have fired the advisors, right? So... We're aware of that. Ak Koyunlu has also grown a lot. 
So the white sheep are also good. But they now have a border with the Ottomans. Which might be a problem for their alliance. And we have a helping hand. Finally, we've heard back from dearest Sultanim reg regarding our request for her husband. Most noble Sheikh Jafar has decided to grant it. The reply returned with covers of gold. Fill our emptying treasury. A letter of thanks shall be sent immediately to the generous Sheikh Jafar. Long may he reign. We always knew we had a friend in Ardaville. Ten. Well, that's going to be some months. Uh -huh, we could hire Condottieri. But I'm not sure. I think uh, what is next needed is the core construction. And then we'll see if we can continue a little bit more quickly with missionaries. And get rid of this minus in the treasury. So, thank you for watching and happy gaming to you, dear friends and thinkers. We'll see each other in the next episode of EU4's Kara Koyunlu Roleplay. Have a good time then. Until next time.